Evening all, it's uh, 7th of November 2009 here. It is officially four days before the release of Modern Warfare 2 and this is the last mission of the campaign done walkthrough on Veteran for you so you can uh, get all your achievements and all the rest of it. Uh. So yeah, it's, um, was it just like old times? We're with Soap and Gaz. Soap and Gaz, Soap and Price. Whoops. And uh, yeah, start the mission here, you got to silently take out the two patrols. Exactly before they come back, yeah, because you don't want that. But uh, no, just uh, one thing to note whilst doing this is make sure you get the dogs because the dogs are an absolute bitch if they run at you. Um, well, they're not, but they make a lot of noise and people run at you. So yeah, just make sure you get the dogs and uh, you're pretty much sorted for that. Roping down is pretty easy; you don't actually do anything. Um, but yeah, this is uh, this is a fun bit. Really hard to fuck up, so you don't have much problems here either. Uh, I mean, look at them. He's just—he's just a sitting duck, and he. Oh, that was just pitiful. Puts up no resistance whatsoever. It's these—it's these Russian cutbacks since the recession. You see, they're like—they're not training them how they used to. It's just there's no fight in them. Um, yeah, this bit is obviously sped up. I don't actually walk like that. Um, I haven't hacked my way through or anything. Uh, yeah, just follow what he says, basically, don't get noticed, um, and yeah, crouch all the way, crouching, and you're pretty much sorted, they can't hear you, um, that bit's pretty hard to mess up as well, I mean, you've got one bullet, and that's, you know, easily done, so just go through that and, uh, kill him, yeah, 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 he's a pro, isn't he, good lord, yeah, right, so just follow him a little bit more, Right, this next room, uh, you're going to want to jump and duck down in the middle of the floor uh, fairly fast to avoid the fire from your right. And you want to stay low and shoot at whatever you can, basically. Uh, there's a lot of smoke in the room and the uh, AI is using red dots, red dot, red, laser, red laser sights, sorry. Uh, so you can see uh, where they are basically, just, just pinpoint where they're coming from, the general direction and spray and you'll clear them out fairly fast. Check behind you because there's always one that comes around the back uh, and then you saw it, you threw that bit and outside onto the cliff. Okay, grab a right shield uh, he'll tell you all of this of course, you don't need me, so just speed right through it keep it pointed in their direction of course, you don't want to hit them from the side uh, that's about it basically, go up to them and ram them, do them quickly because otherwise uh, uh, you might get the other one going around the side or something so yeah, you can basically drop that now, you don't need it anymore. Uh, yeah, there we go. Pretty good gun. Um, so yeah, go down. And move into the next cavern. Now there's going to be a chopper dropping off some troops over there. Um, which is just done, so you probably want to uh, chuck a grenade over there, well I did, and uh, it seems to clear out a couple of them, which makes your job easier a bit later. Nice achievement there for you. Um, yeah, go down the left hand tunnel, um, because then you can get around the back of the uh, right shield people. And take them out from behind there. Just make sure you get the left uh, sorted first, as you can see them getting shot behind. And you go behind them and massacre them, and then you're a hero, and you should be awarded some sort of cross. There you go. Wasn't hard at all. Hmm, almost off the cliff, am I? Right, moving on to the next cavern, you've got a smoke uh, shield to the left, there's a lot of them in there, and there's also a helicopter drop coming into the roof. Uh, deal with the helicopter drop first, because uh, they will bug you later if you don't. Uh, don't bother with shooting the smoke shield from there, go in the tunnel to the right, and then you can get them from the side, and it's a lot easier if you get them from the side, because uh, they're not trying to shoot your head off at the same time, basically. Yeah, use your thermal sight to see through the smoke, and you should get this done fairly swiftly, it's not a massive amount of enemies. Uh, so yeah, let's just speed this up a bit, you don't want to see all this. There you go, get them all from the side, and they're not even shooting back. So once you've done that, you want to move over to the breach door. Um, I believe there's six or seven people in here, I can't quite remember which one, but there's uh, one guy that charges you with a knife first of all. Uh, to your right a little bit, there you go. You want to get rid of him first. And then there's three over to the right, two in front of you, 
one hiding off to the left, and there's one that comes from the right as well. There you go, and you clear them all out. It's not that hard as long as you uh, know where they are and you get a, rest a, a checkpoint right before it as well, so if you fuck up you can just uh, start it from back there. Um, yeah, make sure when you're doing that you don't shoot any of the C4 either, because that's a bit of a bummer. Uh, that's quite a lot of it. Uh, yeah, just follow the little controls, press X, and you're sorted. Moving outside, you get some fresh air. Yeah, or we will face all the fire. Never mind. Could be worse, could be dead. Which might be likely in a minute. See, so yeah, it just splits it through here. There's not too many enemies. Uh, right, now there's a helicopter drop. And you want to clear them out as soon as you can. I don't quite know what I was pausing. I think I uh, wasn't quite sure if they were on friend allies or not. I can't remember. Uh, See, so yeah, I'll just speed this up a bit because this went on for quite a while. Just clear them out. And basically, when he starts advancing forwards, you know it's reasonably clear. Um, so you can just about follow him, but be very cautious as well, because there's a couple of them to the left. As you can see, the bullets come from that way. So you probably want to move up and uh, up and round over the left side. There's those uh, flashes again. That, uh, I always forget to use. I always start the mission before and end the mission before. It's like seems such a waste just didn't use them. So um, yeah, use them if and when you feel the need. There you go, cleared out pretty well. And into the tunnel. And that's basically most of the mission done. Um, next bit I'm going to speed up a lot. Uh, just get on the boat and steer basically. Yeah, that you can shoot, but to be honest, unless there, unless there's a boat right in front of you that's shooting rockets at you, you don't want to bother with that because it's just a distraction. And uh, it takes longer to catch up with him basically. So uh, yeah, just keep that button pressed in. Do not let go of it because you won't catch up with him then. Um, yeah, jump off the edge of cliff. Not quite suicide, but uh, what not. Let him stab you. This bit's just so easy. You don't even need to walk through for it. You just uh, press X a couple of times. And take him out. There you go. So end of the mission. Final one done. Congratulations. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the series, there you go, um, that's my 90G achievement for completing everything on veterans, so uh, thank you very much for watching, if you liked uh, the series please comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time, thanks a lot.